This is One on One. Kimberly McLean is president and CEO of Foundation for Newark's Future. Now, people may not know that name, but um, that's the foundation that is charged with the responsibility of administering the, quote, Facebook money. Yes. Let's play that out a little bit. Facebook money came in in 2010. 10. Yes. How much money are we talking? $200 million all told. So Facebook founder Mark Zuckerberg donated $100 million as a challenge grant. And it was up to the city and partners to raise a matching $100 million. So all told, over the course of you know, five and a half years, there'll be $200 million invested in education for kids in Newark. So when Mr. Zuckerberg did this, I remember it was a major press conference um, involving a lot of people, but uh, Governor Christie at the time, Mayor Booker, sure. a whole range of other people. What motivated him to do it? You know, I can't speak for Mark. What I can say is that we in Newark definitely appreciate his generosity. I think, you know, seeing a problem and wanting to tackle it is something that was, you know, very generous of him, and we're very appreciative of that. Where has most of the money gone? Most of the money has gone, I would say, to the K-12 sector, both district and charter. Our biggest investment to date has been in the teacher contract between teachers and uh, the school district. That was $48.5 million. Um, all told, we've invested uh, upwards of $100 million, upwards of $100 million of the $200 million, and between ourselves and our partners, um, $170 million has been invested. There's about $30 million left. Go back, if you could, Kimberly. The, uh, the Newark teachers contract. Sure. $48 million. Yep. Um, this ties teacher pay directly to student performance. Is that a fair assessment? Uh, I think it's a little simplistic. It's a little more complex than that. So there are three components of it. Sure. One, uh, the contract is designed to reward those teachers who are getting good results and are doing well in the classroom. Two, it's designed to, to provide the supports that good teachers who need extra support, um, they can get it through the contract. Mm. And thirdly, it is designed in a way that it exits the low performers. And we believe that those three components is what will leave us with a mix of teachers that are dedicated, that are compassionate, that are competent, and uh, very capable of teaching the students. How'd you get into this whole thing? <laughs> well, I originally it's not a trick question. <laughs> I'm sure everyone's curious, like, how'd she get into this? Absolutely. So I began at the foundation as a CFO, and when my predecessor left, became the, the head of the foundation. But I've been involved in Newark in a number of ways for many years. Prior to this role, I was a CFO of the Newark Charter School Fund. Mm. I did that for a number of years, and I actually have gone to church here in the city for over a decade now. So very connected, very passionate about Newark. One of the other initiatives, the Newark Charter School Fund. Yes. $4 million. Explain exactly what those dollars are for and what is expected in terms of outcomes. Absolutely. So from the beginning, one of the premises of the foundation has been that we support high quality seats and we're agnostic about where those seats come from, whether they're district or charter. So we have a very district good... District meaning traditional public schools in Newark yes. versus a charter public school. Absolutely, absolutely. And so our partnership with the Newark Charter School Fund really allows us to do three things. One, to continue to promote quality of the sector by uh, investing in individual schools, by advocating uh, on behalf of policies that are important, such as facilities. And it also allows us to have a, a parent engagement um, initiative the goal being giving parents mm. choice, giving them rights, letting them know what their options are so that they can make the decisions that are best for themselves and their families. Yeah, play that last one out a little bit. Um, choice. Choice within the public schools. Yes, choice within the public schools. It is our belief that parents in Newark, just as parents in other uh, districts, have the right to choose where their kids go to school. If a district school is best for them, they should go to a district school, and if a charter is more appropriate, they should go there, which is why we've invested in both. We really believe in having high-quality school options across the landscape in, in the district. I'm curious about this. You know, some of the folks who have chosen to be critical sure. have questioned return on the dollar. It's not their dollar. It is Mr. Zuckerberg, Facebook's uh, money, others who have put money in this. There's no public money, per se. Right. But those some who will argue, hey, wait a minute, how much have the kids really benefited from, the students have really benefited from these dollars? You say what? 
I would say that the students and their families have benefited from virtually every dollar that has been invested. And I can say that for a number of reasons. One, is, as I mentioned, we invested in our teacher contract because we believe an investment in teachers is an investment in kids. We've also invested in neighborhood and community partnerships. We've invested in summer youth employment, working with the city of Newark to employ 2,600 kids. Mm. We are working with uh, Rutgers on the Newark City of Learning Collaborative, designed to ensure that by 2025, 25 percent of the population will have a college degree. We are supporting the opportunity for 4,000 kids who are currently out of school to go back and get a credential or uh, get their degree. We are uh, launching college success centers all across the city so that kids in the city not only know about college but have the tools and resources to get there. In terms of school models, we've opened six new schools from our investments. Six new schools have been opened? Yes. Three on the, the Facebook money? Yes. We have supported six new school models. We've also invested in 15 other existing schools to promote uh, innovation and, and high quality resources that are needed there. We've invested in early childhood education, promoting professional development of teachers and also supporting parent engagement. Mm -hmm. So I could go on and on about the investments that we've made, um, but they've definitely touched the lives of kids and families. The grant sunsets, meaning it officially ends yes. June 16th, 2016. Yes. What happens then? Well, it's our goal uh, that at that time, the work that we have done will continue to live on. So we ensure that the investments we make are deliberately and intentionally in partnership with others that are gonna outlast us. That's our district, our, our partners at the district, our partners in the charter sector, our partners in the funder landscape. We seek to ensure that we're investing in things that will live beyond us so that the work can continue. But the grant is over. That would make it six years? The grant was originally designed as a five-year endeavor to be a philanthropic shot in the arm. So the announcement was made in 2010. Decisions really started to be made the, the following year, which is why we're sunsetting uh, in June of 2016. Kimberly McLean, President and Chief Executive Officer of uh, the Foundation for Newark's Future. And if you know uh, the Mark Zuckerberg money, uh, Facebook money, as people like to refer to it, there's other money involved as well. By the way, is there a website if people want to get more information? Yes, they can visit our website at www.foundationfornewarksfuture.org. Foundationfornewarksfuture.org. Future uh, yes. Ms. McLean, I want to thank you so much for joining us. So we appreciate it. Thank you. Newark is definitely at a crossroads, and we need everyone's involvement. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, we're at the New Jersey Institute of Technology. I'm Steve Adubato. Stay with us. We'll be right back. Thank you so much. Thank you. One on One with Steve Adubato has been a production of the Caucus Educational Corporation celebrating over 25 years of broadcast excellence. Funding for this special edition of One on One with Steve Adubato at NJIT has been provided by Barnabas Health, Prudential Financial's Global Communications Department, TD Bank, Verizon Communications, PSE&G, The Fidelco Group, and by the North Ward Center. Transportation provided by Airbrook Limousine, serving the metropolitan New York, New Jersey area. One on One with Steve Adubato at NJIT has been produced in cooperation with Fios One News.